Collard Valley Cooks. We got a couple of guys outside working on the gutters. So you will hear them drilling and hammering while we're doing our video today, but it shouldn't take that long because we're doing a super simple pork chop bake. Uh, we're gonna be using some hash brown potatoes out of a, a bag, a fresh onion, some celery salt, cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, milk, and pork chops, and of course salt and pepper, and a little bit of cheese. Um, I actually forgot to get out my cheese. So I'm gonna bring y'all around here so that you can see what I'm doing close up, and uh, we'll get started on this pork chop bake. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna use a half cup of sour cream and put it in a bowl along with some uh, milk. It's about two third cup of milk. And we'll be using a can of cream of mushroom. You can use cream of chicken, cream of celery, whichever one you have. Um, just use whatever you've got. So I'm gonna put in this cream of mushroom because it's what I had the most of, so I'm using it. Hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. I sure am, and I'm getting this in the oven just in time for lunch today. So I'm going to take a whisk, and I'm going to whisk this together. And I think I'm going to add my salt and pepper to it as well. So let's do that right quick before I mix it up. Remember that soup does have a little salt in it, so we're going to use about a half teaspoon of salt and about a half teaspoon of pepper because I want a lot of pepper um, on my potatoes. I'm a pepper girl, okay? We're also gonna add a little celery salt, but I think I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. So there's your mixture. This is super simple and super easy and super good. So we can set this to the side for a sec. And now we're gonna concentrate on putting in our potatoes. And I'm going to alternate the potatoes with some onion. If you've got some french fried onions, you can use them, but I'm just using plain old onion because that's what I've got. So I'm gonna put about half the bag of potatoes in. I'm gonna spread them out. We're going to use some cheese. Just sprinkle a little cheese on it. And then put half of your liquid on top of this and spread it out good. Just like that. A layer of onion. Just slice them really thin and lay them on top. Now you can use some dehydrated onion if you have them, if you just want to throw them in here. Um, you can chop them up smaller if you would like, but they're gonna bake and be really soft. So I'm just putting them in there in a ring form. Now, the original recipe told you to put your pork chops on the top, but I'm not gonna do that because I want my pork chops to be nice and moist. So we're gonna lay our pork chops on now. And you know what? My pork chops are so big with the bone, I'm gonna to have to debone them in order to get it to really work, work good. Now, if you've got room and you don't have as many pork chops, you won't have to debone them. You can save these bones and boil them and make some good broth out of it for a soup or some rice. All right, I put the rest of my pork in here. I uh, cut up, a, I just snapped a couple of uh, carrots and put in there, a couple of peppers. I'm putting in some celery. There's no need to worry about peeling it or anything. It's really just in there for flavor. You're going to strain the broth. 
So we're going to use this and make a little bit of pork broth, okay? So you're going to get this um, to the sink, put water up above the meat. You're going to simmer it on your stove top at a low uh, simmer for about an hour. And you're going to have you a nice broth for soup or to simmer your rice in um, for the following week coming up. Pork chops are cheap to purchase right now. They're about the cheapest thing, one of the cheapest things to feed a family. And so just cover it with your chop just like that. Any seasoning, okay? I'm actually gonna use some that I've got that's called roast vegetables and fries. And I'm going to sprinkle it on my pork chops. Lots of times these seasonings aren't real salty. I can taste it and make sure. Ooh, well, I got it on that one, didn't I? I'll rub it around. I'm going to have to get my hands dirty again. Chris can eat those in the middle. <laughs> So rub you on some good seasoning. Go in the middle. It can be anything, lemon pepper, whatever you like. Now I'm gonna slice the rest of the onion over the chop because I want the flavor in the chop. And this is gonna fill up your um, baking dish. Because most of the time, just the hash browns alone will fill up a baking dish. So make sure you grab one that's pretty big. Don't get no little one. And you can do, you can half this recipe and just use half the potatoes. Now we're going to take our potatoes and we're going to put the rest of the potatoes on here. We're going to go ahead and put our sauce on here. Spread it around. We're going to cover this with foil, okay? And put the rest of our cheese on the top at the end, okay? a vegetable right quick okay I know I'm going to get the question can I put this in a crock pot of course you can but if you place it in the crock pot because it's going to be in there most of the day make sure you add about a cup of water to the bottom of your crock pot and try to use a crock pot liner as well so it don't get too stuck in there okay so use a crock pot liner if you don't have a liner spray it really good with Pam make sure you put a little bit of water or milk in the bottom of it at least a cup okay so it don't dry out all right we're getting this out of the oven and we're just gonna put it right back in after we uncover it be careful don't let it burn you. My oven is talking to me. This is done. Now, we're not going to have this for lunch. We're going to have it for supper. So, I will be putting it back in the oven and just keeping it on warm until we eat supper tonight. So, um, I'm going to have broccoli with it. So, tonight, I've got it already prepared and in my pot. It's going to be really easy. All I got to do is turn that on 10 minutes before we eat. Let it come to a steam. Steam it for five minutes and serve. Looks good. 
Now, since I'm going to put it back in there and keep it on warm until we eat, I will cover it, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and take out a piece and let you guys see how pretty it looks. We do have somebody working on the house, I told y'all earlier, so he's making noise. And he happens to be just right here next to us, working. So let's take a look and take a look and at it. Nice and warm. So I'm going to scoot this over so you guys can see the chop in there. It's got all that nice seasoning on it that we put on it. And I am going to dig in and give it a try and I can guarantee it's going to be good because it's cheesy and delicious. So it would be good on the plate with some broccoli tonight. Now there's the chop, nice and done. And this is going to take a while to cook. So it wound up taking really almost two hours, okay? So you're going to bake it for about 50 minutes covered, and then you're going to uncover it and bake it 40 more minutes, okay? The pork is good, and it's tender. I know that if you lay that pork on the top, it will not be tender. So I chose to put it on the inside. It takes twice as long to cook it, but at least everything's good and done. It's delicious with the onion in there and the cheese, the sour cream, the potatoes. It's a good way to throw it together, throw it in the oven, and go do another chore at the same time. Mmm. That's good. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.